observing the differences between drains. So like you've got a French drain, you've got a standard drain, you've got a, a dry creek, uh, you can do berms, you can do swales, um, right? So there's, there's different techniques that we use for different stuff. And then honestly, the number one thing I always want to do when I'm trying to fix a drainage problem is fix the grade. Grading is like where you begin on everything. Um, but in grading, sometimes you would use a berm or you would use a swale, right? Um, and then if those things aren't working, typically what you're going to do is you're going to look into some sort of drain. Maybe it's just a solid drain. Get it over a, a low spot and out to where the grade fixes and is naturally dropping. Uh, I like to bury all the downspouts around anybody's house. I don't like having water around a foundation. Uh, not around here. It causes a lot of problems. I know some areas you got to water your foundation. So uh, it's different everywhere. And remember everything I say, guys, it's specific to me and what we do here in Springfield. If you're not here... Maybe in, I say Missouri in general, um, you get too far north though, it probably doesn't even apply really, but I'll just finish. French drain, a French drain is just a buried pipe that has, gra well, it doesn't have to be a pipe. It's a channel under the ground that the surface of the ground looks like any other normal surface. You couldn't tell it's there. Typically you're going to put sod over a French drain, right? Um, but the way we do it is we usually dig down about a foot or more and about a foot wide and we put in like a liner of some sort. Uh, to keep the set like a sediment barrier um, or we just use an angular gravel you know that works too if you're using angular gravel and you get it thick enough uh, but one of the two and uh, and then you just you, you follow you circle that pipe or uh, surround that pipe with gravel pack it in really good and uh, and if you take gravel all the way to the surface so that it's open and there's no dirt over the top of it that would be a dry creek and if you cover it with dirt and put sod over the top of it or mulch, that would be a French drain. Um, so whenever I'm doing uh, something where I really got to catch the water and there's, you know, you got a good above ground flow of water, like a good stream rolling through the yard and you got to catch it, I'm not going to put in a French drain. I'm going to drop in a dry creek because it's basically an open catch basin. You can catch everything coming in, drop it underground and take it out. Um, it's the only way to take in that kind of volume of water. A French drain, it's got to sit in a puddle and kind of soak. So if you got a low spot in the yard, or maybe it's like a side yard that's kind of low and just doesn't have great grade, drop in that French drain, run that out, give the water some space to go underground, allow that surface to dry out, makes a big difference. That's really what French drains are for. In fact,